What is up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to set up GitHub. So to get started, let's go to github.com, okay? And once you're there, up here in the top, let's click sign up, okay? Enter a username, make it whatever you want. Okay, add your email address. Okay, and then a password. Okay. After you got that, click create an account. All right, so step two is choose your plan, okay? And if you want to have unlimited public free respiratories for free, uh, which is what I use, then click right there. Uh, private respiratories, this is, it's not open to the public, so no one else can view it besides who you designate. Uh, that's seven bucks a month. So if you want that, click there. Otherwise, just click continue, okay? And then tailor your experience. Uh, if you're very experienced, click there, you know, pretty, pretty self-explanatory, okay? What do you plan to use GitHub for? I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna click all of them, okay? And then, which is the closest to how you would describe yourself, okay? I'm gonna say hobbies. Submit, okay? Click right here, go down to settings, okay? And you have to validate your email. And then click on SSH, and click new SSH key. So name this, my computer SSH key. Do that one, okay? Now, to generate this SSH key, we're gonna have to open up the terminal. Okay, and once you have that open, put that over there. Um, down at the bottom is a little link, uh, generating SSH keys. Right click it and open it in a new tab, okay? And click on uh, generating a new SSH key and adding it to the SSH agent. Okay. So first off, what you're gonna want to do is copy this line of code right here up to where it starts saying your email. Okay. Copy that and put that over here in the terminal and paste it. Okay. And you're gonna want to type in your email. Okay, once you got it done, click enter. Um, the name, type in the name. And enter a pa uh, passphrase, it can be whatever you want. And enter again. And then it's gonna give you uh, a fingerprint, okay? Um, do not show this to anyone. <laughs> That's why mine's blurred out. And then um, once you have that done, you're going to want to go over here and you want to copy this line of code right here. Okay, copy that and paste that in and click enter. Okay, once you have that, now you're, it's copied. Go back over to your SSH on the computer and paste it in and then click add SSH key. And then now, if you click add right here, you can click new respiratory. Oh, it's gonna make you verify your email address. Okay. So once you get your email address um, verified, at the top right here, click new respiratory. Okay, you can name this whatever. Description, you don't have to put one in there. Uh, do public, doesn't matter. I mean, you can do private if you want. And then click create a respiratory. You just literally copy this code right here. And if you go into a project on terminal and you paste this code in there and you click enter, it will actually um, post your code to GitHub and you'll be completely done. So those are the final steps. Um, after that, you can add more stuff. Uh, a couple tips. Um, let's see. Clean, clean. Command K uh, clears the terminal screen, okay? So if you have a CD that's going into a file, file, so CD desktop, okay? And when you're in the file, you just say, let me create a new file on desktop. Or folder, I guess. And let's, now we can leave it untitled. Okay, so I'm gonna go into that folder, so untitled folder. You click tab to autocomplete. And then once you're in there, you can say git init, that creates the git folder for, here, why don't I just, uh, I'll just paste this code.
Okay. And mine's not working because I don't use this GitHub account, but it should work for you. It should be up on your GitHub page. You will see it there. If it's not, comment below. I can help you out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it below. And please subscribe to my channel. I post every single Thursday, and it means a lot to me. Please, please, please subscribe.